F1 and Monza. GT3 and the Nordschleife. NASCAR and the Daytona 500. What do these pairs have in common? Well, all three of them are iconic combinations of cars and tracks. Today, we are going to add another great combo to this exquisite club. Hi viewers, I know what you are thinking and maybe you're right. Putting the Porsche Carrera Cup at Bilsterberg at the same level as F1 at Monza is bold to say the least. Yet I think I have a valid point and that is that it just fits as well. Let me prove it. As always in lap one, everybody's struggling a little, trying to gain some positions, not to lose the car. But it's almost settled down after almost half of the lap. Here I am able to go through. make up another position down to the Mausefalle, as this great part of the track is called. And now first time through the chicane with its huge and hideous sausage curbs. That's okay, quite good this time. Using all the track there is onto the back straight and into down one gear and fourth into what is a pretty quick left-hander. Again, using all the track and into the final section of the Bilsterberg circuit through a little, yeah, right side. let's call it chicane or right. access section. Another great opportunity for overtaking is the last corner just take it a little tighter than the AI. Speaking of which, the AI here is set at 100, which just suits my skills for this track. So, a little nudge. But not just a part of uh, cup or club Still racing. I mean, right. Right. this is part of the game. Right you have clear. to use your, your elbows a little. Not too much, of course. Not hurting them. But right. saying hello, I'm here. So, Still but there. coming back um, right to my clear. actual topic. Right. What is great about clear this right. combo in special? Well, first of all, not by chance, Bilsterberg is also called Little Green Hell. We have 19 corners, some of which are absolutely blind, like this one here, up to 26% gradient, 70 meters difference in altitude. I mean, these are 4.2 kilometers of pure challenging driving experience. So why now the combo with the Porsche Carrera Cup? Well, that's easy, because they just seem to belong together. I think the track works best with low to mid power cars, which still have to be driven. Of 
quickly going back to the Can't. yeah to the race you can see still there. tried to sneak through here in the still last there. corner but why didn't make it and now what look at what happens we have still the blue Porsche still there. Right bumping into me and mm, I'm sorry AI this was of course completely unintentional I'm very sorry if this was a multiplayer race with real people I of course would have waited for uh, for the dude for yeah sorry I, all I can say is sorry but the the problem was the blue Porsche bumping into me I lost my line lost uh, my breaking point and tried to avoid the the black Porsche directly in front of me and by doing so, bumped into, yeah, punt, actually punted um, the white Porsche in P3. Sorry, but we were lucky. We're now in P3, and as you can see, I'm, I'm already fighting. Um, to yeah, that's a nice one. Fighting to keep up with the leading duo. as we're heading down the back straight for the third time. But once, once again, coming back to why this is a great combo, I, I, well, my argument is, okay, or my Next point is, is that the Porsche 964 that we're driving here is, as because we all know, the last air cooled 911. It's based on the original chassis and body back from the 60s. No ABS, no traction control, well, a fairly soft suspension and of course an H pattern manual gearbox. All this adds to a very cool old school driving experience. This was state of the art that was state of the art in the early 90s. Yeah. And this was it guys. This was my peak at P1. Yeah. Dive down the inside after start finish into the, the first right hander which actually is a hairpin. Yeah. I'm in P2, trying to chase down what happens to be Mika Hakkinen in that Porsche. One more word about the AI. I think the AI, the AI in, in Race Room is pretty, pretty good. In most series, um, especially in, in this one, um, AI races are what they have to be. There are other uh, sims out there that struggle much more with the AI and in single player mode. Another argument, if you will, for trying out this combination. You can do a, a whole championship, if you like, using the Porsche Carrera Cup, using tracks that are, let's say, more technical, pretty narrow, you can find many of them in race room, and build your own custom championship, just doing that. Set the AI to a level that you are confident with, not comfortable of course, it should be a little challenging, but you, you can have a great, great time. This is my message to you guys, as we are going into the last lap. Last lap. Bring it on home. P2. That's your quickest lap. Well, Mika is just pulling away. I'm really not, not able to... Um, up with him. I don't know if the AI is cheating here, but um, out of a sudden he seems to have launched an additional turbo, turbo that I do not have, obviously, um, increasing his or decreasing his lap times uh, tires. Yeah, by almost two seconds, at least one second. You can see I'm, I'm right on the limit, um, no traffic, free air, but all I can say is 
no chance for me um, to keep up with him. Yeah, but but that's it mainly, guys. Enjoy the last moments, the last half lap of this race. Um, of course, if you enjoy this video, please uh, leave a like. Um, if you want more of this content, please subscribe. Hit the bell so that you get notifications when I upload a new video. All I can say is try out this great, great combo. Have fun, enjoy your day, and until the next time, thank you very much.